Tonight, the family of Eddie Irizarry, the man who was shot and killed by a Philadelphia police officer, says they're finally on the path to getting justice. God is good. God is good. We finally got the answer we needed. Ex-cop Mark Dial arrested again for murder. Back behind bars one month after all charges against him were dropped, a new judge now reinstating them. We are very thankful that the judge actually heard all the wonderful evidence that was presented by both sides and decided that yes, Mark Dial is back in jail for now. Irizarry was killed as he sat in this car after a traffic stop in August. Police say he was driving erratically when Dial and another officer pulled him over. Police body camera footage capturing the moment Dial walks up to the closed driver's side window I'll you. and fires through the glass. Prosecutors say Irizarry was shot five times. 413 shots, fire shots, fire. Irizarry's devastated family calling the incident cold-blooded murder. Everyone in Philadelphia seen a murder. They see my nephew get murdered. But the first judge in the case called it a justified shooting, dismissing the charges over what she saw as a lack of sufficient evidence last month. My client did everything he could to get him to the hospital to save his life. Um, it's a tragedy, but not a crime. They threw away all the charges. This is some that's what it is. Protesters took to the streets, outraged over the initial ruling, but now a second judge agreeing with prosecutors, ruling that there are sufficient questions of fact that will need a jury to review. Among that potential evidence, this doorbell security video obtained by Irizarry's family and attorneys shows the encounter from another angle. Dial's police partner testifying he mistakenly yelled out gun before the fatal shots were fired. Irizarry was actually holding a knife. Now Dial is being held without bail and could be facing prison time. We can't wait to go to trial. Facts here are undeniable. Uh, Mark Dial did not commit a crime. Irizarry's family anxious for what's ahead. This is only the beginning still. We still have a long, long road ahead of us and we are aware of that. Um, but with prayers and, and just sticking together as a family. Valerie Castro joins us now. Valerie, you mentioned Mark Dial is behind bars tonight. What's next for him? Well, Stephanie, his defense team is calling for a change of venue. They say they plan to file a motion to have this case moved out of Philadelphia County. They don't feel as though Dial will get a fair trial there, given all of the publicity. There were six other charges that were also initially dismissed, including voluntary manslaughter, but all of those have also been reinstated. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.